But we start with the breaking news that the ECB have announced their new 12-point diversity action plan to combat racism in cricket. We can speak live now to our reporter, James Cole. James, good afternoon to you. Bring us the key points then from what the ECB have produced this afternoon. Yeah, it's a pretty detailed and wide-ranging document, this. They've broken it down into five sections. The first is understanding and educating more. Then they call it uh, number two, addressing dressing room culture. Uh, there's uh, a section on removing barriers in talent pathways, creating welcoming environments for all. And then the pledge at the end is to publish localised equality, diversity and inclusion action plans within six months. I'll try and take out the key points in as plain English as I can. The first section at the ECB says it will set up a standardised system for whistleblowing. So that's for reporting, investigating and responding to complaints and allegations across the game. Of course, if something like that had been in place previously, Azim Rafiq would have had somewhere to go to, some means by which to, to air his complaints and there would have been a system uh, by which it could have been dealt with. That wasn't in place, but that's their promise now. The ECB will set that up. They also pledged to engage in the recommendations of the Independent Commission for Equity in Cricket, the ICEC. Now, this commission was set up last summer to tackle the issue of racism and uh, uh, discrimination in cricket, a very wide-ranging uh, investigation. They recently called for evidence for anyone who'd experienced any sort of discrimination across the game at any level. And they will report back next summer with a final report and recommendations. Now, the ECB and cricket stakeholders are saying they will engage in those recommendations. They're not saying they will act upon them, but they will engage in them. They also say there will be a full review of dressing room culture in all men's and women's professional teams in both domestic and international cricket. There's also a promise to remove barriers in talent pathways. What does that mean? Well, this is a big issue, and it was highlighted by Azim Rafiq at that DCMS hearing, the fact that a third of community cricketers are of South Asian heritage, yet at professional level, that number drops to 4%. Now, they say the counties are proposing expanding the Community Talent Champions program, which identifies talent from non-traditional and diverse backgrounds. And they're also targeting a minimum 20% gender diversity and appropriate level of ethnic diversity for professional and recreational coaches by 2025. So just over three years time. That's a big target in that sense. And they reaffirm as well their commitment to the Rooney rule uh, for all coaching appointments. In terms of making welcoming environments for all, uh, the uh, cricket stakeholders say that they will make sure food and beverage at grounds caters to all faiths and cultures, as well as the availability at stadiums of multi-faith rooms and alcohol-free zones. And finally, they end by saying there's a, they promise to publish their diversity action plans within six months. And this is quite interesting because they say each organisation will need to deliver board diversity, 30% female, and representative ethnicity by April 2022. So in five months' time, the counties are going to need to show 30% female representation. Well, right now, across the board on the first-class counties, there's only 18% females at board level. Derbyshire is the only county who currently meet that 30% target, and that's despite the ECB setting that target uh, two years ago. Uh, the document finishes with a couple of pledges from the ECB. In terms of finances, they're going to... Uh, offer 25 million pounds of funding to diversity strategies and there's a warning there too a link now between funding and diversity targets so if the counties don't meet these targets they threaten uh, losing their funding they could have their funding withheld so a united front being displayed by cricket stakeholders a lot of promises a lot of targets but the real the real uh, key will be over the next months and years whether they can meet these targets and meet these promises uh, the other thing to say, James, would be that since, well, in fact, the last couple of months, there's been a lot of questions asked of the ECB. Should they have stepped in earlier to the independent investigation that Yorkshire were running uh, with Azim Rafiq? The other question, I, I guess, is the performance of Tom Harrison at this, that DCMS committee last week. Do they deserve a modicum of credit for the fact that there was a chairs meeting last Friday at the Oval and a week on they've got this out? As you said, there are a lot of things still to meet for the counties and for the game itself, but at least they've got this out as a starting point. Yeah, it is. It's a starting point. They won't be judged on this. 
Uh, remember, the government are watching them closely. They've threatened intervention in the way the game's governed, uh, the government have, if the ECB don't get their house in order. This doesn't answer all of the questions, but it is a start. As you say, it's a united front. So this is, this is the game of stakeholders, the counties, the PCA, the MCC. They're all coming together and they have signed up to this pledge. That is a start. Tom Harrison, you're right, he was told, uh, or he told us that he'd been given the backing uh, of all of the ECB's members at that meeting last week. But he was probably helped by the fact that there is no permanent ECB chair right now. So he's been given a stay of execution, if you like. And again, he will be judged on what happens next, not just this statement and these targets, but how many uh, counties meet these targets and what actual tangible change we see over the next months and years. Right, James, we'll get, uh, we'll get some more from you over the course of the afternoon on this action plan, but thank you very much for the moment.